Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost, and I'm an Airtable and Zapier consultant. In this video, we're going to be looking at a brand new product called Table to Site. Now, that's the number two. So, Table to Site. Uh, com is where you're going to find this. What it allows us to do is build a website using the data in an Airtable base. Now this is like a, just an awesome, awesome use case. And this is obviously something we could have done using the, uh, the Airtable API. But for the non-developer, this is a perfect way to put up a really great interactive website really quickly using data already living inside an Airtable base. So uh, if that's something of interest to you, this video is for you. Definitely check it out. We're going to jump on in and uh, take a look. All right, folks. So as I mentioned, we are going to head on over to the domain table2site.com, uh, which you can see we're going to jump on in here. That is where I am starting out. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is if you want to get, you know, kind of check it out and see what their pricing option is, they do have a free version, which is great. It only allows you one site. Uh, you have to stick to the table to site domain and, uh, and it only has some limited features. But in all honesty, those features are pretty darn good. But if you need more than one site or if you want to customize your domain, which means, you know, have your own uh, URL, then you're going to need to do that uh, paid version. So either $10 a month or 80 bucks for the year. In either case, I have to do say this as well. Uh, I have had some communication with customer service for this site and it has been incredible. Uh, the developer who put this all together is by the, uh, goes by the name Martin and he has uh, just been incredibly responsive and answered a lot, of, a lot of questions for me. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to him uh, how, how helpful he's been. And you know, if you're new to development and if you're not a pro website builder, he is there to help you out. So anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and go into the get started up here at the toolbar. You're going to see that I've already been experimenting and you know built a couple sites already, but let's go ahead and add a site. We're going to add just a free list uh, version. So this is going to be very similar to what you'll see if you had like the free version of this. Uh, and I think that the really powerful part about this software is really in the version of making a list website. So a list of something. Um, and we'll go ahead and, and start with that and I'll show you why I think it's just so cool. So if you want to check these different websites out, there are some examples for us to start with and they certainly help get the ball rolling for us. Uh, I'm going to start with this one because I like this one a lot. So I'm just going to start by copying the base. If you want to check it out, you can always click demo. But I'm going to skip that and just copy the base. Now the first thing we need to do is copy an Airtable base and then we're going to direct this table to site to look at that base so that it can present the data on the uh, web page, right? So this is the example base that Martin at Table to Site has set up for us. So we need to make a copy of it because we need to move a copy into our own Airtable. So we're going to click Copy Base here, and that's going to open up in our own Airtable, and we just pick the workspace that we want to select, and we add the base. Now you'll see that I've already got one floating over here, so I'm going to change the name of this one uh, before we go any further. I'm going to go into this and uh, just change the name. I'm going to call it Example Table to Site, and I'm not going to make any other changes. Now I'm going to go back into the old uh, or to the to the example that we got over here, and I'm going to close this window out because I've already made a copy. So now. I am the owner of this site, the example to t uh, the example table to site base. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to jump back into that app, and it's going to say, "Have you copied it?" We're going to say, "Yes, yes, we've copied it." Now it needs to know what the API key or the Airtable base ID is for our new base. So to get that, we go to Airtable.com/API. And this is going to be taking us into uh, the API documentation for all the bases that we work with. Don't freak out if you're not a developer. This is all really still very simple stuff that we can all put together. So just find the base that you're looking for. In this case, we're going to go example table to site. We're going to open that up. Now the fastest way to find your Airtable base ID is to go up in the URL here and it starts with app. You'll see that it appears after Airtable.com slash, and then it and then there's another slash, and it's API. So 
the stuff in between there is what we want to pull. That is the base ID. So I'm doing a copy there, control C, and I'm going to run back into that table to site and paste it in here. Now website slug, this is whatever we want to name it. So I could call this example base. Uh, and then we're going to click add site. If you had a custom domain and if you were on a, a pro version of this, a paid version, you could bring in your custom domain here. Uh, but in this case, I want to show you guys what the free version will look like. So we're going to leave that blank. So there we go. We're going to click add site. And here it is, the brand new base it says example, or the, the brand new site, excuse me, says example base. Here's the base ID. And that's all the other fun stuff that we need. So we are going to then uh, go back into our, ex our um, don't need this anymore. So I'm going to close out the API window. And now the only places I'm going to be working from are where is the site and then what is the base. And I'm going to show you how I can make changes in the base and it's going to automatically update that website really quickly and easily. So let's jump back into table to site app and we're going to click example base. It is going to take us to our brand new site. So you're going to notice a couple things. We have, and again, this is all set up by the demo, right? So we've got um, uh, what, what Martin, by the way, Martin, the, the guy over there at uh, Table to Site, incredibly helpful. Uh, what he's already set up for us in this example is, you know, a list of a couple of different things that are built on Airtable. So we've got AirPress, Airtable on Zapier, uh, Table to Site, and then Airtable integrations. You'll notice that a couple of them are free and that a couple of them are paid. Automatically in here, we already have a filter built. So if our users wanted to click free or if they wanted to go and click paid, they can just automatically filter through that data. And that is pretty cool. Uh, but anyhow, let's go ahead and see what else happens here. You'll notice that when I hover over the different options, they kind of pop out a little bit. Uh, that is because I can actually go in and get more information about these products just by clicking on them. So for example, if I wanted to click on AirPress, in a new window over here, it's going to open up the AirPress uh, WordPress plugin. Uh, I'm going to close that out. If I wanted to look at Airtable on Zapier, I can click that as well. And uh, here we go. It's going to take us to uh, OpenSide where they've built this awesome product that helps us integrate uh, with new integrations at, or new triggers, new, new, uh, new integration possibilities uh, with Zapier. So anyhow, Let's jump back in here and see how we can make changes to all of this. So in our base, in our, this is in Airtable, we have a couple of, of main uh, points that need to be consistent. So we start with a settings table. This has all of our you know, high level settings. So in this case, it's telling us just simply what the font is. We could add a logo here. There are a lot of different possibilities. If you want to check them out, you can go to tabletosite.com and look at all of their different uh, reading materials. They've done a great job of putting all this out there so that we can you know, kind of explore it and figure out you know, uh, what we can change and what we can't. The other, and this is uh, also a critical table or in, inside of our base, is the content part. And so you'll see that each one of these records, each row here in Airtable pertains to a specific part of our website. So let's see, the beginning part is a, a hero type, which is kind of like a, like a bigger than a text field. It's a nice, you know, like a featured item almost section. And it, we have a background color, we have a text color, and it says built on Airtable is the title, and then the regular text starts with curated directory. So if we look over here, that's exactly what pulls in here. Built on Airtable is the title and curated directory. Let's suppose uh, we wanted to make a change to the color. Like if I were making my own website, uh, I know that my, uh, one of my brand colors is 0067AC. Uh, and so I would bring that in here and maybe I would say Gap Consulting as the title. And uh, for the text, I could replace it with, this is an example. And let's take a look and see what that does in terms of changing to the website. So give that just a minute here, and then we can come over here and refresh the website. And there you go. I mean, just like that, it's automatically changed the background color. It's automatically you know, updated with that information. This is super, super easy to use. I think you can agree. But uh, jumping into this next part, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. Let's suppose 
that we wanted to uh, change where these places looked. Let's take a look at the next section. We have, and this is where the list comes in, this second record here. And you'll see that it is a type, it's a tile view. Now Martin over at Table to Site has done a great job. He's already given us the ability to go through and pick from these different types. So we could change this to, you know, whatever part of our website it was, whether we wanted to do a list, whether we wanted to do the tile view. Uh, this is, you know, obviously where uh, we're pulling in the different options and all of that. Uh, but we could do a contact form. I mean, I mean all of this is possible. Uh, so you can just select and, and choose what part of your website, you know, that next part is. And again, here's where we're putting in that text color. Uh, it can take, uh, you know, a six digit um, hex code and then, or it can take, you know, the, the simple like white, black, you know, simple color uh, verbiage. And so we can change the color, we can change the background uh, as well. And then over here in options, this, actually I'm going to make these uh, taller rows so that you can see more clearly. So over here in options, it's saying, look to the sheet called data. And then on that sheet, we're going to, uh, you know, do an image overlay. We're going to, you know, apply these filters free and paid. And so this is where, if we go back to our site, free and paid are those filters and the images and all of this other data that's coming in over here is referring to the sheet equal data. So if we look back up here, we have a table called data where, you know, and what we would expect to find there is all the stuff that Martin has already put up there for us. So if we go to title, you know, we see the different uh, examples so we can change this. Let me just for the sake of this example, just name these example one, example two, example three, example four. Whoops, almost got through it unscathed. There's the four. Uh, if we want to change the images, we could do that here. Uh, we can change the description. We can change the link, and this is where it goes when someone clicks on it. Uh, we can add different extras. You'll see that this part right here, the free slash $50 a month, etc. This is all, um, this is the part that's showing up on those, on those pictures. So if we go back to those pictures, it says free, 50 a month, $10 a month. So that's all showing up right there. So pretty cool stuff there as well. And then lastly, uh, these tags over here, this is where we are giving it something that we are going to filter by. So if we go back into that content table and we see that it's using the filters of free or paid, it's looking to the tags over here. And so free or paid is in, uh, is either going to be, uh, each of these records is either free or paid. And so it's going to uh, tell us here in the tag which one it is. And that's what allows us to filter it with just a click of a button. So as you can see, this is all really simple um, and really straightforward. All you really need to do is go in and make some slight changes to an already existing template here. This is totally free. I mean, you have a, yes, there is a paid version, but if you wanted to start playing around with this on the free version and just build a website, you don't even need your own custom domain and you can start putting something together really quickly, really easily. It's I, I mean, it's just a, it's an exciting time to be alive because there's just so much that we can do and so quickly, so cheaply that we couldn't have even dreamt of 10, 20 years ago. So uh, one last time, you'll, you'll remember I made these changes here and uh, let's say I wanted to change the, uh, the extra part over here and I wanted to say, um, I don't know, something flashy, something flashy just for uh, no good reason. I'll paste that into each one of those records uh, with a quick copy and paste. Give it a second to kind of update because, you know, Airtable can take a, a minute uh, sometimes to save. And once that's done, I'll jump back over into Table to Site and let's see what changes we made. So now each of them have an example number here instead. Something flashy is what's showing up in the corner. But you'll notice because I did not mess with the tags over here, those tags in our page are still going to work. So free or paid uh, when we unselect free. So it's still working. Everything is uh, coming together nicely. I guess in short, I just want to say, I know this has been a bit long because there's a little bit to dive into here, but if you're looking to put together a quick and easy web page, and if you love Airtable already, if you're already in Airtable a lot, this new tool is just opening up new uh, opportunities for us. 
and you don't even need to come at it with a background in development. Uh, you can put something together really quickly thanks to the hard work that Table to Site has already put together for us. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on future Airtable and Zapier content. And as always, if you have some custom work where you could use a little help on your uh, business's Airtable or Zapier needs, definitely reach out. I will include a link to my uh, consultation calendar below where you can uh, you know, schedule some uh, time for us to chat. And as always, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.